In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the Terminator tool to easily work with multiple terminal windows on the same screen. So if you want to work with multiple terminal windows on the same screen, well, this is one thing you can already do. If you want, you just open multiple terminal windows and you adjust them and you put them on a screen and then you can also add multiple tabs, okay, inside one uh, window. But as you can see, the interface is not the best one for space optimization. And then, well, whenever you restart, you will have to just organize your workspace again. And well, there is a better option. And so one option I'm not going to do here, but that's also a valid one is to use Tmux. Okay, so if you want to get more info about that, you can search on the internet for Tmux. And that's going to allow you to separate one terminal window into uh, different terminals, actually which is an alternative to Terminator that we are going to see. But usually I prefer to use uh, Terminator, which is super easy to use. So to install Terminator now, we are first going to need, of course, one terminal because we are going to use the sudo apt. So let's put that in full screen. sudo apt install Terminator. Okay, you put your password and then that's going to install Terminator and no. So Terminator is now installed. Now what you can do is you can just run Terminator in your terminal or you can also find it here on activities or on the applications. You just type Terminator and you find it here. And that is going to open a new terminal window, okay, with just a different interface here. But that's the same thing, okay, you get a bash environment here where you can type any command you want. And so now let's put that full screen and let's say you want to split that into different windows or different terminals. What you can do is right click and you can see split horizontally and you have two terminals here and you can see you can even resize them okay, between them so that's very practical. Now let's say you want to go in that terminal and you want to split that in two terminals so you can do right click split vertically and now you have you can see Two terminals here, one terminal at the bottom. So that's very practical here and you can resize everything you want. Now you also have shortcuts, okay, so that's what you're going to use. You can do Control Shift and O and Control Shift and O is going to separate the current terminal horizontally. So that's going to create another terminal like this. And now you can do Control Shift and E and Ctrl Shift and E is going to separate the current terminal into two different terminals vertically. Now, if you want to close the terminal, you can do a right click and do close, or you can do also Ctrl Shift and W. That's going to close the terminal. If you want, so I'm just going to run one command here so you can see. If you want to put this terminal in full screen, for example, I do PSAUX to list all the processes, okay? And you can see that's quite small. If you want to just put it full screen, you do Ctrl Shift X and you have the terminal full screen and then you do Control shift and x again to put it back where it was before so that's very convenient you can zoom in and zoom out of a terminal just with Control shift and x so that's basically how you can use terminator you can see with just a few shortcuts you can customize your workspace as you want now you can go to so right click and go to preferences to customize terminator so you can see you have many different options okay you can go on profile and actually I have used a custom uh, font here so you can keep the default one or you can just use whatever you want. I just used uh, the same font but just with a bigger size. So well you can customize the color, you can customize everything you want and then one very uh, useful thing is the layouts option. So here I have created a new layout. Now what happens if I'm going to stop this window and start it again? Well. I'm going to come back to the very basic terminal. So I'm going to need to do that every time. I'm going to just need to reorganize my workspace every time. What I can do is I can just save. So I do add here and let's put a name test layout. Okay. And I have saved the current layout. So I do close and now let's say I'm quitting this. So close all terminals. I can go back here, terminator. Maybe I can do right click add to favorites. Okay, so now I can start it from there directly. 
and I'm back to the original window. Okay, so what I can do, I can press Alt and L and a new window appears and I can choose the layout. So I can choose Test, Layout, Launch and I am back to my previous layout. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also check out my online courses so you can learn Linux command line step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.